Good morning, boat lovers. Thanks to everybody who left comments and watched the last video. I really enjoy reading all the comments and responding to everybody when I can. Hello, boat lovers. Welcome to the channel. My name's Steve and I'm single-handedly building Dragonfly. She's a 53 foot or 16.2 meter flat bottom wooden river boat. I've designed her specifically for the inland and sheltered waters of the River Murray here in South Australia. Join me each week to watch the mayhem and madness of one man single-handedly building a massive flat bottom wooden boat. focusing on the galley. I'm just about to rip down a laminated hardwood bench top ready to put in for the kitchen sink. I'll get all that fitted into place and then I'll actually take the sink back out and store that in a safe place until we're ready to finally ins install it permanently. So that's what I'm up to this morning. I'm hoping that this week I can get the trim put around the seating in the saloon and also the two saloon cabinets in place and I'm also hoping to work out my window spacings and cut the window spaces out so I'll have natural light coming into the boat which will be fantastic so that's my plan for this week it's going to be a hot week so I'm doing most of my work fairly early in the mornings like this we're about uh, just after 7 a.m today yeah the temperature's great so I'm going to get into it all right Good morning boat lovers, it is going to be a hot one today. I think I'll be working probably just till 12 o'clock and that will be enough because the shed's going to heat up after that. So I'm walking along the path that I made yesterday. These are the things that I do when I'm not in the boat shed. Put in a bit of, bit of a garden bed there as well. Been making great progress in the boat shed. Oh, all the galahs are flying past. Yeah, been making great progress in the boat shed, working on those windows. So I will give you a bit of a guided tour. Today I'm going to finish the templates for the wheelhouse and cut those window spaces out as well. And what a transformation. It just completely transforms the feel of being inside the boat. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. It's light and airy, just as I was hoping. So uh, come on, let's go and have a bit of a look. Got a couple of cardboard cutouts there where my portholes are gonna go for the bedroom. So you can see they've staggered those. They start with a small one going up to a large one. I think that's a, probably about a 10 inch, an 11 inch, and then a 12 inch. And then walking along, we actually have some windows or window cutouts. So you have to bear in mind this is a river boat, not a sea going boat. So the windows are quite large. Um, you know, one of the best things on the river, of course, is just 
when you're sitting inside the boat, being able to see out at the view. So that's why we have nice big windows. Also, uh, large windows are great, the opening ones, to let the breeze through. It gets pretty hot up the Murray River. Some days you might get 40 degrees. I think that's 100 in Fahrenheit. And of course, if you're out in the boat and that sort of weather, you really need the airflow or at least the aircon on. Alrighty, let's have a walk through. Okay, here we go. Just walking into the galley. So I hope you can get a bit of a bit of a feel for that. Just got the kitchen sink sitting in there because I couldn't help myself. It'll go back in the box later today. But that's a great space for if you're at the kitchen sink doing dishes or whatever, great to have such a lovely big window to look out. And then we go around past where the stove's going to be, across to the other side, and a lovely big picture window there above the main working bench. So that's about, or oh, a bit over a metre wide, that window. That'll be an opening one, of course. So lovely and airy in here. And let's go into the saloon and have a look in here. Even as I go in, I think you can probably see the light coming in. Remembering that the boat is inside a big dark shed. <laughs> Here we go. So the center window will be opening and the two side ones will be fixed. Got my shelf running along the, the bottom edge there and it's just wide enough to put a bottle or a coffee cup on. And across to the other side, same thing on this side. It's a kind of mirror image. So there we go. It just feels great in here. It's, it's a complete transformation. And now I don't have to work with a light either shining in my face or behind me casting a shadow over where I'm working. So today, as I said, looking forward to getting the wheelhouse happening. So we'll go through there. I'll show you the templates I've made. I've done the two walls. I've got the windscreen to do. So here we go. Not sure about these steps. I think I'm gonna make them with slightly wider treads. Not bad to go up and down, but I think we can do better. Okay, here we go. So those black plastic templates, they're just roughies. I'm gonna make white cardboard ones today that will be accurate. And then that of course is where the door is going and that'll have a window in it. And it's quite dark in here, sorry about that. That's because we haven't cut the windows out yet. So we're gonna have an opening window there, a fixed one there. I've decided we will have a window in the stairwell so I can see back over the top of the boat when I'm driving. Initially, I was going to have a domestic air conditioning system, which sounds a bit crazy, but they're very affordable and extremely efficient. Um, and I was going to use a split system with three outlets. The outside unit was going to sit behind where that window is. But I've had a change of heart, done lots of thinking about this. I want to keep all the weight down low and I want to keep things as simple as possible. So I need to save my pennies and get myself a marine air con, which will go under the wheelhouse floor. It will have three outlets, one going into the forward cabin, one into the wheelhouse, and then one pointing back into the saloon and the galley. So that's going to save me a lot of mucking around. And it also means that I can have this window here. Because as I say before, the split system unit was going to sit behind there and obscure the view. But now that I'm putting an aircon under the floor, I can have a lovely window there. I have a grab rail across here, so when you go down the stairs, you've got something to hold on to, and a couple of shelves either side, just for books or whatever. And that's gonna be great. Uh, when I'm driving, or whoever's driving, you need to see what's behind, simply just turn around, be able to see right over the top of the boat, and out the back, which is, um, with a boat that's this long, on the river there's lots of skiers and wakeboarders and so before you do a turn, of course it's great to be able to clearly see out the back. I can always poke my head out the doors of course, but that's going to make things really easy. Alrighty, so first things first, I am going to make the cardboard templates for these windows. This one of course is going to be opening out and these two side ones will be fixed windows. Because that one's opening out and the two side doors will be able to open up, I'll have plenty of ventilation here. Alrighty, that's the tour of the windows.
Good morning again boat lovers. I am working on the cabinets in the saloon this morning, putting the trim around the face of those ready to take the shaker style cabinet doors. Once I've got these in place, then I will be putting the trim around the edge of the saloon seating. So I'm about to do a bunch of gluing, but first I'll turn the camera around to show you the area that I'm working on. Here we go. So that's one little cabinet there, which will have an opening door. I'm just working on this trim around here this morning to glue that on, because that will take the cabinet doors. And then of course, over this side, we've got this cabinet here. Let me turn this light around, we might get a better view. There we go. So again, just putting this trim around. And then I'll be putting the edging around the base of these seats. I'll line these up with the laser level and then mix up some glue and get into it. Okay, alrighty, here we go.
think that is it for today. Whew. I'll let this side dry. Tomorrow I can come in and repeat the process on the other side, which is a little bit trickier because I've got the two curves inside corner. And then I can sand them all up and finish them off. I've left the top of these kerf cuts open so I can fill them with some um, timber coloured wood filler or epoxy mixed in with some sawdust or something. I'm happy that that's very securely glued into place. Got the faces on the two cabinets. Got this piece on here. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it feels like a lot to me. So, alrighty, see you tomorrow, folks. All right, boat lovers, that is pretty much it for this week. It's a stinking hot day today, so I'm taking the rest of the day off. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And all being well, I'll see you guys back in the boat shed next week. Take it easy.